Our regular viewers know my wife, Andrea. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be back. Now, I have a car for you today. It's the future. You've never driven a car like this before. And I thought you were going to remember this glorious, beautiful day and what you had a chance to drive. So what this is, is the Toyota Mirai. Have you ever heard of a Mirai? Never. Okay. It's a fuel cell vehicle. You've never driven a fuel cell before. So today's your first. Yeah. And it's exciting. So I've only driven electric and this is electric, but hydrogen. So yeah, it's a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. We'll get into how it works in just a moment, but what do you think about the way it looks? It looks super cool, very futuristic. The yeah. thing is, actually Mirai means future in Japanese. Mm, clever name. Now I'm going to show you the next Mirai. I was in Japan, remember I was there for the Tokyo Motor yeah. Show? Yeah. They showed the concept of what the next one's going to look like. Yeah. It looks nothing like this. I think you're going to be very excited. Even though this is very futuristic, yeah. wait till you see the next one. All right, let's go for a drive. Andrea's first time ever in a fuel cell. Okay, Andrea. You've been driving it for a little while. What are your first impressions? I like it. I like it a lot. It feels like an electric car. It is an electric car and it has a lot of power. And what else does it have? Torque. We like torque. Yeah, it's got 151 horsepower, but it's got 247 pound feet of torque. Wow. And that's what electric motors give you is that instant passing power and torque. So do you know how a fuel cell works? No, no idea. Okay, there is no plug in this car to plug it into the wall. And I get, noticed that, yeah. yeah. And, and get power off the grid. What it has is a storage tank for the hydrogen. Mm. So it's very safe. And it has a fuel cell stack. And what that does is it takes two elements. We have hydrogen, it's the most abundant element in the world, right? Yes, yes. And we have oxygen from the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. And what it does is it pushes it through this fuel cell stack, which is kind of like a membrane. And as the hydrogen and the oxygen go through the stack, it has an electrical current that is created. Amazing. Okay. So the only byproduct is heat, which you need in a car. Yeah. And also uh, water vapor. So what comes out the tailpipe is nothing more than water, H2O. That's it. Incredible. So this makes its own electricity as you're going along. So no plugging in, but you get the feel of an electric car. It is an electric car. Yeah. It's just an electric car that has the electricity created in the car instead of plugging into the grid. Cool, right? Very cool. So what I'd like to know is if I go to the filling station, mm -hmm. how far will I go until I have to fill again? Okay, this car as it stands now is just over 500 kilometers of range. Now, one of the things about this vehicle is the battery that stores that small amount of electricity is very small. You don't need to have this huge battery to power the vehicle because you're generating the electricity as you're going along through the fuel cell. And just like a hybrid, you've driven a hybrid. Yeah. When you put your foot on the brake or you decelerate, that electricity from the regenerative braking is also going into that much smaller battery than a regular battery electric vehicle. So these are the benefits. Over 500 kilometers of range, you fill it in a short period of time, and you don't have to have big, heavy batteries on board. Mm -hmm. So if I am interested in this and I would like to buy it, can I just go out to the auto mall at Toyota and buy one? No. <laughs> uh, some people can in Canada. Right now they're doing test fleets and they're for fleets. Say you had a business and you had a bunch of delivery vehicles, for example, you could get a fleet of Mirais if you decided to. That being said, in the United States, they do have Mirais, these Mirais that you're driving now, oh. available for the public. Guess how many Mirais are on the road in California? I'm going to say 100 because I've never seen one. 3,000. Wow. 3,000. Where are they when we go? Well, you don't notice them. I guess they kind of blend in because they look like a Toyota. But yeah, 3,000 of them. They have 80% market share of all of the fuel cells sold in California. 80% are Mirai. Wow. I mean, not surprising. Um, California is really big on electric cars. Yes, but they have the filling infrastructure and that's a big part of this. So they have filling stations in California and all of these cars are clustered around those stations. Right. So how many filling stations do we have here? I'm going to get to that when we fill up. Okay. Okay. Okay, Andrea, I've stopped for a reason. Remember I went to the Tokyo Motor Show? Yes. 
So a highlight for me was seeing the next Mirai. Now you haven't seen this yet, okay? No. Unless you watch my video. Did you watch? No, the video? I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have downloaded on my phone the pictures of the next Mirai. So this was the concept vehicle they showed. So you know this is futuristic and edgy and very aerodynamic. Yes. Okay. What do you think of that? Wow. Does that look sleek or what? Totally sleek. Long. Is it longer than this? It's longer. It's bigger. It's rear wheel drive, which wow. is interesting. So not only do they want this to be more efficient, they want it to be... Um, How sporty looking. That's it, right? It's yeah. very, very sporty looking. So sleek rear wheel drive. So the focus was not only to be more efficient. Yes. So I had a chance to speak to the chief engineer and I'll basically summarize what he said. He said, I want customers to say... I chose the Mirai not because it's a fuel cell electric vehicle, but because I really wanted this car and it just happens to be a fuel cell electric vehicle. That's a good way to be. Okay, so that's the future Mirai. It looks mm -hmm. pretty cool. Are you ready to drive this for a little while on your own? For sure. Okay, so uh, you drive it, do what you want with it, run errands, whatever, and yep. I'll pick it up tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you later. Okay, welcome back to day two. What did you get up to? What did you think about it? Well, I, you know, zipped around town, super easy, easy to park, easy to drive. It was a no brainer. Why wouldn't you want one of these? Okay, what do you need? What else do you want to know about it? Well, uh, I know that you said 500 kil kilometers and we still have plenty, but I wouldn't mind going to the filling station just to check it out, see what it's all about. You know what? I've never filled a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle oh, either. Good. So it's a first for both of us. So the good news is, and the reason why this car is available for fleet purchase is in British Columbia is because the very first public uh, hydrogen filling station is actually near where we live and there's going to be more of them coming. So in total, uh, six public filling stations. And if you have filling stations, you can multiply how many fuel cell vehicles there are. Yes. Currently, there are two fully operational filling stations in British Columbia with more to come. In addition, in the province of Quebec, where they have a fully operational filling station in Quebec City, the first fleet of 50 Marais were sold in Canada. Okay, like everything, there's a learning curve, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a filling station. First time I've ever done this. Oh, it's alive. We did it. We did okay, it. Okay, so it says here, unlock the lever. You put it on there. Yeah. It's locked in. You want to pull the lever? Sure. See what happens. Oh, well, look at it. that. I can feel that. So this is, this is really like putting fuel in your car, like it's gasoline. Amazing. And I think it's, now we didn't have a, a lot. No, it, I think it's done. So press. They press the end. Oh, no, wait. Oh, fail step three. How so the, great is this to drive an electric car, come to the station, fill it, and you're on your way for 500 kilometers. But I think if somebody was driving a lot, they would, you know, if you fill up your car once a week, mm -hmm. if you're commuting a lot, mm -hmm. be the same with this. Yeah. Plus you got to stop and get your car washed and all that anyway. Yes. I think it's done. It's done. It's done. Fill done. Press, Press to exit. exit. The more you did it, the faster you get. Doesn't smell. I can't smell anything. No, it's good. All right. Mission accomplished. First time ever. Yes. A lot of firsts today. Okay, Andrea, after driving the Mirai for a few days, what's your sort of overarching thought on the car? It's super smooth, it has plenty of power, but after about an hour of driving it, it felt like a regular car. I went to the pump, I filled it up, I didn't have to plug it in. It's the ease of use, you drive it like any other vehicle, you fill it at a filling station, over 500 kilometers of range. That next one that I showed you will have about 30% more range than this existing model. And uh, I think the future, as you say in Japanese, Mirai, looks good.